My name is James Drake. I'm a professor of physics at the University of Maryland. I'm the director of the Joint Space Science Institute. This is an institute that is designed to promote space science research between the University of Maryland and the Goddard Space Flight Center. I also have an appointment in the Institute for Physical Science and Technology. My field is plasma physics. Plasma physics is the study of ionized gases. It's a gas which has charged particles in it. For me, what's most important is that it's a conductor. That means it can carry current, and current produces magnetic fields. And so I work on a topic called magnetic reconnection, and it has to do with how magnetic energy gets released. A magnetic field is something that has a direction, this way. On the other hand, you can have systems in which the magnetic field is going this way, and it's going the opposite direction. And the question you might ask yourself is, what happens if these two things in opposite directions come together? And the answer is that they annihilate each other. And that explosion releases lots of energy. That energy comes out, for example, from the sun. And perhaps more importantly, those energetic particles from that annihilation process, this is what produces the satellite killers. What we've been trying to do is figure out the mechanism by which that magnetic energy released is actually converted into these high energy uh, ions and electrons. They're a, da a danger to astronauts in space. For example, if we want to send somebody to Mars, we have to worry about whether a large solar flare is going to produce a bunch of energetic particles and those energetic particles are going to move out and threaten the life of the people who are, are traveling to Mars. So this problem has, it's both scientifically very interesting, at the same time it has practical significance. I like physics. You know, you're faced with a problem, it's like this massive puzzle in front of you. And piece by piece, we've figured out how this process of reconnection works. It's very fun. And it's not just me, it's the students and the people I work with. Uh, it's my colleagues around the world. We talk about what progress we've made, what progress that they've made. And so we've got a much better idea than we did 10 years ago about how this happens. It's extraordinarily exciting.